Today we're going to be talking about was Colin Kaepernick really blackballed from the NFL? Back in 2016, Colin Kaepernick took a knee during the national anthem to protest police brutality. After he took a knee, a lot of players within the league began to do so also to stand with him and bring attention to racial inequality. Colin Kaepernick played for the 49ers. After his contract was up with them, he opted out of his contract to make him an unrestricted free agent. Some people think that he was fired, but he wasn't. Not only that, people also think that the NFL purposely decided not to sign him because of the national anthem protest. But that's not true. Colin Kaepernick had opportunities to go to four teams, like the Seattle Seahawks, who wanted him to come and try out and compete for the quarterback position. But he didn't want to. He didn't want to compete with Russell Wilson. Even some Seattle Seahawks players wanted him, like Richard Sherman. The Baltimore Ravens also wanted him. Ray Lewis was talking with the owner of the Baltimore Ravens, Dave Bashotti, to possibly get Colin Kaepernick a job because they needed a quarterback badly at that time because their quarterback at the time wasn't doing good. But then his girlfriend posted a nasty tweet from Django making Ray Lewis look like an Uncle Tom and a coon and the owner of the Baltimore Ravens a slave owner slash master and that ruined his chances of getting on that team. Also, the Denver Broncos offered Colin Kaepernick a contract, and he turned it down. And then fast forward to 2019. The NFL put together a workout just for him in Atlanta. Over 25 teams are going to be there to look at him and try him out. And the NFL has never done this for one Pacific player. And then, three hours before the workout is supposed to begin, Colin Kaepernick changes the venue to a high school a couple of hours away. So out of the 25 teams, only eight showed up. So when you take all of that in consideration, Colin Kaepernick had many opportunities to get back into the NFL. Even when he left the 49ers, he had many opportunities. He wasn't blackballed. The definition of blackballed is when you don't have any opportunities because of a plot against you. Not when you mess up a whole bunch of opportunities and say, I don't have a job. And a lot of people will point out that Colin Kaepernick had a lawsuit against the NFL and then the NFL settled. So therefore, the NFL is guilty, but that's not the case because sometimes it comes down to money. It's going to cost me less to settle or I can pay more in money and legal fees to prove that I'm innocent. So now I got to choose. I can settle right now and only pay a couple of million dollars to the person or I can go to court and win and pay the nothing to the person but spend over a hundred million dollars on legal fees. But the point that I'm trying to make is Colin Kaepernick had every opportunity in the world to get back into the NFL. The NFL held a workout just for him. They have never done this for any player in the history of the National Football League, and he didn't show up. That's just like someone wanting a job but don't show up for a job interview. It doesn't make any sense. But hey, do you think he was blackballed? Leave your comments down below, and please like and subscribe.